So first things first, you're going to go into Keynote and hit New Document. Then you're going to click the Plain Presentation. And this is where we'll begin. So you want to delete this first section so that way we can go ahead and import our logo or whatever you choose to do. I already have a logo that I designed in Canva. So I'm going to hit Choose under Insert. Then I'm going to go and search for it in here. This is a hot mess. My files are all order, out of order, but that's all right. We're going to get it straight. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said before, I created this really quick in Canva just to show you guys. And you can also do the same. It's free. Just make sure you hit that transparent background when you're ut utilizing any other presentations. So now that I have it, I'm going to move it to the bottom because when I get an iMovie, I'm going to show you guys what I'll be doing. So I'm just moving it right here, resizing it. And when you are resizing it, just make sure you click one time because if you hit it twice, a crop thing comes up and it just causes so much confusion and then it, it just makes it harder. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm going back under insert. I'm going to click choose. And right now I'm actually searching for my Instagram transparent logo. You want to do this because it makes it easier when you're dealing with different colors. So right now, although I'm using white, maybe one day I want to switch it up and do a black background. So that's why I have the transparent logo. So when you're going on Yahoo or Google, make sure you're looking for those transparent backgrounds. It makes life so much simpler. And I'm just repeating the same step because I want to add my Facebook because I'm um, this is where I share a lot of my YouTube videos. So you can do whatever ones that you do. I just use Instagram and Facebook for right now. And right now I'm going to go back under insert, select text box, because I'm going to put my actual name for my Instagram and my Facebook. And lucky me, it's actually the same thing as my YouTube name. So when thinking about names, just make sure you keep it simple. It does make life easier. And all I'm doing right now is I'm just spacing out each letter so that way it looks a little different. So right now I'm going to add some special effects to this. This is very different from what I showed you guys for the iPhone making an intro. Key note, you're able to add those special effects. So what you want to do is you want to click on each individual picture that you just uploaded and you'll go under that animation part so that way you can add in the build in special effects for you. So as you see, you just see me going through, fooling around with it. And then I'll show you guys what I'll do when I get an iMovie to make it really play well with each other. Because when you're adding in a lot of these photos, sometimes if they're not together, it doesn't really go in sync. So what I do is when I get an iMovie, I'll be able to put it into a whole in sync formation. And I'm also just changing the title, the format of that Just Steph. So that way it blends. And I wasn't really happy with this, so I wanted to add in some things of like what my channel is about. So for me, my channel is basically lifestyle, crime, and fitness. And it just that's just basically the basics. So I really wanted to add that in there because it lets people know kind of what my channel is about. Because maybe they aren't looking at my YouTube banner. So this will really help it stand out in a sense. <laughs> And now I'm going to go ahead and save this. So how to save, you'll go under File, Export. Make sure you save it under iMovie because this will not work if you do not save this under iMovie. Repeat, please save this under iMovie when you hit Export 2. Please, because I'm telling you, it will not work. So now I'm just going to go ahead and upload this into iMovie. So I'm going to show you guys 
what I'm going to do as far as everything else. Remember, like I told you guys, I want to make it be in sync. So let's go. And so I want to use that green screen from my other intro video. So make sure you're putting it over top of the intro, clicking cut away, but make sure you're selecting that green screen. So that way the green screen is no longer there and it flows into your background. And the difference between iMovie and Final Cut, Final Cut lets you really move things around. iMovie does not. So that's why when I was in Keynote, I stated I wanted to measure this at the bottom because when I tried to do it before a long time ago, it was really hard to maneuver this. So just make sure you guys are making sure everything matches up to your liking and again play around with this stuff like you as you see just seen I started to cut away some of my body <laughs> so that way it flows and then pretty much all I'm doing right now is I am splitting up the content I am going in and I like I said I want everything to be in sync so play around with this stuff pleat playing it replay it over and over until you like it because that's basically all you do for intros is just replay it, keep editing to your liking, your taste buds. And before I speed it up, that's just basically what I wanted to let you guys know is that's all I'm doing is I'm just going back and forth, splitting it up. So that way, after one special effect goes, the other flows into the next special effects. So I'm going to shut up and let you guys see what I'm doing. <laughs> So now the fun part. So as you guys seen with the at just stuff, that is going to be in a form of a typewriter. So if in iMovie, you should automatically have this. Just look for it. And if you don't, just go on YouTube. I'll show you guys how I get my music in a second. And you'll just do the same thing. So I want my name to go into a typewriter format. So that's why I am placing it right under that specific part. And as you see, I'm just replaying it so that way... I like it and it matches up and then I'm gonna show you guys how I look for my music and so go back to YouTube you want to type in copyright free music there's a variety of pages you can look for me personally I like to use the audio library because it's easier to download and this is the hardest part for me because I can never really match up music to what I like because sometimes you know, a video or intro, it all depends on the vibe of what you're going for. So that's basically what I'm doing right now. And then as I fast forward this, you'll see that I download it and then it'll automatically be into my audio place for me to match it. And now I'm back into iMovie, going on audio and to iTunes. And then there you have it. And then I'm going to just drag it under my typewriter sound effect. So that way my typewriter sound effect doesn't go away. And that's all you do for that part. So after looking at this, replaying it, I decided to add something else. So I went under titles 
and I love this little lens flare that you guys seen at the beginning but it also has it in here in iMovie so I wanted to add that at the end to kind of give it a little oomph and all you do with that is you just add it over top of everything but make sure you delete the title because we aren't adding a title and then it'll it'll be right there once you play it <laughs> And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for tuning in for 25 days. I may miss three days here and there, but you know what? It's all it counts is that I kept going, never gave up. It's been a tough journey. So I thank you guys for joining me on these 25 days. Can't wait to see you guys next year in Vlogmas, hopefully to really push out this content. But that doesn't mean videos won't be coming. I'll be back the beginning of the year with more content for you guys so i hope you guys like this video hopefully you give it a thumbs up don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new to the channel and thanks for joining and taking on this ride of vlogs with me all right guys love you all <laughs>